For all things Halloween, this is Hauntformer, and today is August 25th, a week away from the start of September and 67 days until Halloween. The clock is ticking. It's time to go once again to Spirit Halloween. So this is one of the closest locations to my house, unlike some of the other locations we've gone to previously, where they've been, you know, about half an hour or more away. This one is a familiar one, so let's go inside. Nothing says Halloween like being in the corpse of a dead childhood memory. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, kiddos. <laughs> Spirit Halloween is here. Oh. There she is. And look, a new fiend, punctured Pete. He's not on at the moment. I think he is a missing part, but wow, look at the detail in his face. A lot better than the videos made him out to be. He looks really, really, really cool. Going over here, we have another new friend. The Fright in the Box. We have Pennywise. He's turned down a little bit. There we have Sam. Looking creepy as ever. Jack Straw. Come here. Take a little bite. Oh, Uncle. Uncle Charlie. It's all fun and games. Till somebody loses their soul. <laughs> and another new face. I just love hide and seek. The peekaboo clown. Two, two and a half. Ready or not, here I come! <laughs> There's nowhere to hide on Halloween night. We're all out to get you. <laughs> Look at that. He is super cool. Wow. It's good to see all these in person. Let's try him <laughs> one more time. Peekaboo! Pika! Boo! I just love that game, particularly with crying little babies. <laughs> I'm ready to play again. Awesome. Awesome. And Demonic Dahlia. I told you to stay away. <laughs> the front theme is looking amazing, you guys. Very impressed with this year's display. Really awesome. Giving you the 360 view. And now we're gonna head towards the back. See if they have the back theme all set up, which I believe they do. You can also see they have their cemetery section with all of their tombstones. 
and the home decor with classics like the Tarot stuff, Beetlejuice, as you can see, Nightmare Before Christmas, Hocus Pocus. Look at this Beetlejuice sign, guys. This is awesome. I dig, I dig. And the sandworm, how cool is that? That is awesome. It's showtime. That is neat. I've had several requests to look at some of the masks for this year, so let's take a look at a few of them. A lot of them you'll notice are kind of squished from transportation, which is a, a little unfortunate, but you know, so be it. Jeff the Killer, clowns, the foam clown. These masks are really good. I really like that one. Any motion masks are always good. Trick or Treat Studios is phenomenal. You have the Death Hood. I have a feeling the Plague Doctor stuff's gonna be really popular this year for obvious reasons. Happy Death Day, amazing. This is actually from the mold from the movie. This looks like the Red Hood, I'm guessing. They have some originals, Misfits, Michael Myers, Mr. Robot, Tokyo Ghoul, The Strangers, Pray at Night. This guy looks kind of familiar. Creepy. Violent Stalker, Slender Man, more Plague Doctor stuff, Gas Mask. I have a feeling that's going to be popular too. You have the glowing ones if you like the, the lights on your mask. And they must all have pull tabs on them. That one's cool. Look at that. That's dope. And then they have uh, some of these shiny metallic masks that are nice. And they're classical looking masks that look pretty vintage. Here's me totally not trying on a mask because of health reasons, but wondering in the comments below, which one of these spooky masks is your favorite? Talk about childhood vibes. Look at that. That's childhood. And here's that back theme, everybody. Filled to the brim with spooky characters. Let's take a look. Just as all the others have. Now that I have you, your soul will be mine forever! <laughs> that's sweet, that's sweet. Sewer varmint. Gotta do a jig on these sometimes. There we go. He looks great in this display. And another newbie, probably my favorite of the new ones, the Nightcrawler. Wow. Look at him. Look at how large his. His whole body is compared to my hand. He is a big, big mamma jamma. Whatever he is. I'm gonna have to activate him one more time. Woo! It's a good pop. I like him. I like that he sways too. That's a good touch. Very her hair really goes in her face. <laughs> and mommy's favorite. Can you keep a secret? <laughs> this one looks a little bit better. And now let's take a look at all of the stuff in the back here. Some of the smaller, yet still pretty cool items. Sam Sidestepper. 
You have your Sam Inflatable and the Flaming Pumpkin. The Pennywise sign. Look at all this little stuff too. I really like that. Look at the little patches. I didn't even know they sold these. Now I do. Gel clings. Of course, the Hanging Sam, which I'm actually a pretty big fan of. I think it looks really nice. Sam Greeter. I swear if it isn't dead, if it comes back, we come back too. All from it. I guess chapters one and two, really. Could be any. Welcome to Haddonfield. That's not it, that's Halloween. Here you have the, the Groundbreaker. Looks pretty good. You have this light up Pennywise. And you also have the Pennywise sidestepper, which I might have to pull the tab out so you can see what he does. Come on. There. I think that did it. Pretty creepy. Good stuff. Let's go into the next aisle here. They have the Friday the 13th lights. If Jason isn't your thing, then maybe Freddy or not. Yeah, or Freddy. The only the only sad thing is this doesn't have like the classic music. This does. And if both of those aren't your thing, maybe you like good old Mikey Myers from Halloween. Though these are actually licensed Halloween H2O. Springwood High School, Elm Street. You even have these lawn stakes not working. This one even have the, the button, but I'm assuming they make the same noises that the others did. This is the new and improved Chucky doll, which I think is actually better than the other ones. Looks really good. He's a bit hard to hear, especially with all the music. We have the Halloween Night Massacre sign, which is still one of the best things they've got. They got this too. They got the floor mat. They have the Freddy pillow and the good guy doll. If I look around here. This is something new, the clown toe tapper. Let's see, one of these gotta work. There we go. I like the sounds it makes. Yeah, that's great. We've seen the door knockers before. They all have tabs in them. I did him in a previous vid. All good, all good. Saw and wood doll. Not working. It's all right. They even have uh, Krampus stuff. Krampus cups. More is coming soon. And they're hanging items. Again, that severed head I really dig. The nurse. Looks good, looks good. You have the creepy dolls. And look at all the zombie babies. Look at all of those babies. I've never seen them all together like that in quite some time. Of course, with this guy being the real standout for this season anyways, but they have a good selection of, of babies. And they also have the new spiders. Ugh. And for all you box junkies, they have a lot of boxes here of lots of different characters, including Ellie Hatchet, who's not gonna be set up, but they do have plenty to go around. That's pretty cool. This is the stakeable talking clown head. And they come in the green color and then more of a purple looking. Welcome one. Welcome all. The music stops when he says I like 
like to eat you, which is kind of cool. Like, oh, it, that's it nice. It just abruptly stops. It's well, at least he's being the... polite about it. I know. And then they have the spinning Harlequin girl. Come on. Man, these pole tabs are really messing me up. There. there. Yeah. Toe tapper has been spotted. Creepy. And here's the Hugs doll, the Notorious Hugs doll. And the Good Times doll, which is creepier, definitely. Now it's time to do something that I should have done a long, long time ago. Sorry, kiddos. Hugs doll has to go. Very impressive stuff, you guys. This back theme's really cool. Look at me, just as all the others have. Now that I have you, your soul will be mine. Take a look at these sandworm lights from Beetlejuice. Those are pretty sweet. Along with Beetlejuice cups, the sandworm greeter, the little bowl, the plush sandworm, and of course this really, really cool Beetlejuice sign. And so my purchase for today, I think is gonna have to be this Beetlejuice tombstone. She got it out of the back and it is stellar. This is really cool. It's actually sold out online. So if you get your claws on one of these, you're not gonna regret it. A lot of people don't even look at the front, but something really, really cool is this 13 day spooky countdown with Funko. Look at how cool this is. It's like a like an advent calendar, but for Halloween. I like it, it's neat. Speaking of underrated stuff at the front, here we have one of my neatest little things at the front. This little Jigsaw Billy the Puppet head. That's awesome. And look at that, Annabelle. They also have these really cool trick or treat light up heads with Sam and the pumpkin and the masked Sam. They all look really, really good. And they're gonna get other ones in too, which is cool. Well, as you can see, I think that was a pretty successful trip. Jaden got Krampus. I got the Beetlejuice tombstone. It's over there somewhere. So that was a really good trip, really good location here in Clearwater area, Florida. So go check it out. Stay subscribed, stay spooky, and for all things Halloween, this is Haunt Former.